Ibuprofen is a commonly used second line treatment and it can be used as a first line in some patients. Some parents prefer ibuprofen because it, they say it works better on their child. It does have a slight longer lasting effect and it's a stronger NSAID compared to paracetamol. The dose is 5 to 10 milligram per kilogram per body weight, uh, per, per kilogram body weight per dose every eight hours as needed. So it's important to give it as needed basis. It's symptomatic treatment. We have discussed that part. It should not be used below six months unless it's recommended by the pediatrician. So paracetamol is a safer medicine under six months of age. In the first three months, we very rarely use ibuprofen at all. Three to six months, if the pediatrician advises, you may consider giving it. There is no benefit of routinely alternating with paracetamol. So both these medicines are only on as needed basis. It can be given if the fever is still high and the child is in distress after one to two hours of giving paracetamol. Oral suspension of ibuprofen is usually 100 mg per 5 ml strength. So in a 10 kilo child, the dose range is 50 to 100 mg or 2.5 to 5 ml per dose. So in terms of ibuprofen, because it has the gastric upset side effect and the possible side effect on the kidneys, if the child is not hydrated, I prefer to give a lower to the intermediate dose. So for a 10 kilo child, I may suggest 3.5 ml dose, though you can safely give a 5, 5 ml dose as well. So Follow the advice of your pediatrician. Again, if the child's fever is not too high and you are giving it because you think the child has chills or is uncomfortable, you can go for a lower dose. If the child's fever is significantly high, like more than 39.5 or so, you can directly go for a higher dose on the higher range.